Welcome back to Kids Planning. I'm Allison, this is Daniel, and today we're gonna to take a look at Pletrix, which is on Kickstarter now. Pletrix is a Tetris-inspired, nostalgia-fueled roll and write that if you are a child of the 80s or 90s, and especially if you like roll and writes, you definitely need to take a look at. You need to check this out. It is, it's so much fun. We we love roll and writes. Like they're just our, they're our jam. Like mm -hmm. we, we love roll and writes. So this game, from the get go, again, we're both mid '80s children. So, the fact that it's Tetris and that it's a roll and write was just it ev yeah. everything worked for checked us. Checked our boxes. Yes, checked <laughs> all of the boxes. Um, and the colors are awesome too. Yeah, it's just it feels like Tetris. It plays like Tetris. It just she put the Tetris music on her phone while we <laughs> played on a Saturday morning. It was just very nostalgic. What like I that, really... that could be the whole video is just <laughs> children of the 80s and 90s unite, Check make out. sure this funds, go get it because yeah. it's fantastic. Something I really, really like about the game is the custom dice because you've got your classic Tetris shapes on them. And I just, oh, I love that. And so, these are, it's prototype dice. So right, I, this in, is the, prototype. in the final retail version, it will, these will be white. They'll be a little easier to yeah. see. When you roll, you pair off the dice because each of these areas correspond with the dice of that color. Yep, and each section scores differently. So in this section, you lose points for empty spaces at the end of the game. For this section, you gain points for filled yeah. spaces. Section C plays like a game of Tetris. It has to go from the top down. It's like so, gravity. Yeah. So if you fill up a spot that you couldn't drop a piece into from above, that spot stays full. And, and it stays empty for yeah, the whole rest empty, of the game. And you score for filled rows. Section D, you score from covering up stars with your space mm -hmm. or with your shapes. And then E is like a side scroller. You get points for filling up up to like for completely filling up to each of these different sections. Um, as long as you don't leave any empty spots behind. Right. So the gist of the game is you roll your dice and then you pair them off, of by, course. By color. By color. Mm -hmm. And then the active player gets to choose two pairs that they're going to add to their paper. So say I'm going to choose pink and orange. And the active player is the player that rolled that Right. Time. So then you've got these three pairs left. The active player then chooses one pair that doesn't get used at all this round. Right. So then this it goes. Is, this is completely out for this round. No right. one gets to use it. Right. So then the next players, the next player gets to choose which pair that they want to use. So I would pick the yellow pair and I would use that that one pair for this turn. Right, because he's not the active player. Yeah. And then if there's more players after that, they all do that same last pair of dice. Yeah, so in this scenario, anyone after me would share the blue dice mm -hmm. and, and they would all and they would only get to use those blue dice for the game. So the active player gets four shapes to fill in, everyone else gets two on their turn, mm -hmm. and then Obviously the next turn, it just goes, the active player moves to the left. So when you can't place one of the pieces, when you can't use everything that you get. Which happens towards yeah, the end. Yep, yeah, once everything starts getting full, you put an X here. When you fill in all three of these spaces or someone has three spaces completely filled, that triggers the end of the game. It can go on for a long time. If someone's really aggressive, it can be pretty quick. But I do like about this game that it's not a set number of rounds. It's kind of the more yeah. strategic you can be, the longer the game can go on. And you can kind of force other players' hands by kind of triggering the game early. If you can fill up your stuff, if you can be strategic. Mm -hmm. yeah, you you can, can look at the other yeah. players and if you say that they don't have any room for the yellow dice that was rolled. And so you kind of force your hand yeah. and making them choose that, then they have to do a strike. Right. So there's a lot there. And I did really enjoy that this game was not just like six rounds and it's over. It, yeah. I mean, we played it on a Saturday morning. It was probably about a half hour game. It was a really, it's a really well paced game. Um, and just, it's really enjoyable. Yeah, I really enjoy that. And then I got to also play, there's a solo variant as well. Um, it doesn't say, I don't think it says it on the prototype of the box, but in the rules, there's a solo variant and I'm kind of into solos right now. So I just dove in. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. So basically you're doing the same thing. You're rolling all the dice at the very first. You do, woo, you pair them off like normal, and then you choose the two that you're gonna put on your paper for the first round, then you choose a pair that you're gonna take out for this round and the next one. So you've got these on, then you roll the four pair left, you pair them off, 
and then you choose again the two you're going to put on your paper and then one of these pairs you're going to replace with this one and not use but so that one's not going to be for this one or next one so you pick these up and roll them and it's the same three strikes you're out if you fill up one of these it ends the round so that's the solo variant i really i really like that it it allowed that if if you grew up in the 80s and 90s if you grew up playing tetris it's just it's gonna it's gonna hit that nostalgia button for you um, play the music while you <laughs> yeah and even outside of the nostalgia it is a solid mm -hmm. roll and write game that we really enjoyed playing again plays great with multiple players plays jared, great solo jared yeah. played it with me the other day um he's 11 he loved it yeah. like he wanted to be up here doing this but this is kind of that we wanted yeah, to be the we, 80s babies yeah. talking about it yes we we needed to cover this game. <laughs> so that's pletrix Outside of the nostalgia even, it's an awesome game. I mean, we're 80s and 90s, so we love that, but it's just a really, really good roll and write game. Yep, and it is on Kickstarter now, so be sure to go check that out. We will leave a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it, and be sure to hit the subscribe button below so you can see all of our new videos as they come out. Yep, and watch a few of them right over here. Yep. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.